Hey everybody, PC Wizard here. Welcome back. This is episode three of my single player world. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work out here, working on the elevator platform I'm going to have up here. It's going to be an observation deck. Um, kind of not totally sure everything I'm going to get up there. It's going to be kind of an observation deck, kind of living area type thing. Um, I have decided that the machinery and everything is going to be down um, underground here. And I've, I've dug a pretty sizable area out. I'm still working on getting the finishing touches on it. Uh, I know you saw it before. I was starting to put the marble ceiling in and still definitely still working on that. But this is the basic room I'm going to use. Um, I'm not sure. I may end up making it taller or shorter. Uh, what do we got right now? Six blocks. So I'm probably going to leave it there. Uh, six blocks is usually a pretty good range because... Uh, anything more than that starts to get hard to, you know, becomes uh, taller than it needs to be because you can't reach the ceiling anyway and, and things like that. So, uh, But I do have some plans for today, and one of the first things we're going to do is build a rolling machine because I need to make an iron tank. Um, if you've seen if you've seen my stuff before, uh, you probably know that I like using the iron tanks for storage. Um, they're awesome. They're huge. Um, you can just get do so much with them and everything. And um, I think the first thing I'm actually going to do is build my project table. Um, this is getting ridiculous. I need this thing. I love using a project table. It makes things so much easier to deal with. And of course, I'm instantly going to be short on resources here, aren't I? All right. Grab some wood and get that split up. We need to make a chest and a crafting bench. And I th think it's actually smooth stone that I need for this, isn't it? Um, yep, smooth stone on the top. And I believe I saw some. If I still have it, yep, there we go. Well, we need three of those. All right, here we go. Let's get this together real quick. We need the crafting table. We need a chest. We need wood planks on the side and three stone across the top. And there's the project table. And we will get this moved downstairs shortly. But now I've got room to store some stuff in here. It's going to make things easier. And... I know I had some redstone here. Where'd it go? Um, there it is. Okay. All right. So for this rolling machine, we need to make iron plates. And iron plates are then going to be subsequently used to make the iron blocks, the iron tank walls. Iron tank blocks that are needed for assembling the tank. Uh, so I need a piston and a crafting table. A rolling machine needs a crafting table? That's kind of strange. All right, well, I happen to have a crafting table right here. Look at that. And pistons. So we need four of those, four iron, cobblestone. And wood planks. All right. Crafting bench, pistons, and iron ingots. And there we go, rolling machine. All right, we should be able to run this right off of this power. And if we put a chest next to it with the source materials, it will automatically draw from the chest to um, make as, as much of the items as it can. And I know I'm going to need quite a bit of... Um, what am I trying to say? Going to need quite a bit of iron 
for these tanks. Uh, let's see. I have a cheat sheet here that I was looking at. So I am going to need um, what do I do? 152 pieces of iron. So that's a little over two stacks. So there's two. All right, let's see what we get. 64 and 64 is 128. And so I need 24 more. All right. Then if I take this and I say do the four like that. Now we need to give this some fuel and then we'll let it run. Now this does go pretty quick uh, once it's up and running so it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, and that's building up some steam. So that should get started. And then in the meantime, we're going to start working on the next thing I'm going to need, which is an induction smelter. Um, this is um, it's a pretty cool machine. It's used for combining different metals together and stuff. Um, going to need it for creating we're, we're going to make liquid liquid ducts uh, which are part of red power they're a nice uh, liquid transport system so a little bit more expensive than your regular transport pipes but i think i do a little bit of playing around i've done with them they seem to work much much better so i'm going to go throw my money on the table and see what we can do about making this oh give me that back all right I need yep and this recipe is still off and this is not even telling me what these items are all right what do I need for this iron and glass okay and I don't have any glass Get the glass thrown in the smelt powered furnace over here. Get the iron placed around here. And one more. There we go. All right. So that gets my, my machine frame. And then I need one of these coils. And then we need sand, copper, and a bucket. So we have copper, we have sand, and I have a bucket. Now let's sleep real quick. Come on, there we go. And we'll empty the bucket just so we can go ahead and use it for this recipe. I can always make another one. Drop that in there. And there we have an induction smelter. All right. And we're going to be moving all this equipment downstairs very shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the side over here. Now, all right, it is starting to gain some power, which is a good thing. And how is this one doing? It's getting there slowly. Could really use more engines on this, but we'll let it do it. Let it do its thing. All right. So what I need here is put it up in here. We need obsidian and uh, lead. What I figured was I need to do 
32 obsidian and 16 lead is what it should come out to. And this should give me um, hardened glass, I believe, is what should come out of this. I hope, because I really need the hardened glass. Yep. All right, there we go. And let's see. Actually, I have twice as much in here as what I need. Take out eight of those, and you take out sixteen of these. Yes, what the heck? Might as well make it. I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff anyway. I'm sure. Um, okay, but once we get the hardened glass, we will end up combining that with copper. And I do have copper in here. Yep. All right, so I can show you what this looks like. Get the first few of them here. We're going to drop that in there, and we're going to have copper like this. And unfortunately, you only get four a piece, but you know, it looks like they're going to add up pretty quickly. Now these are pretty neat. We're going to need, you know, to make a wrench for them and stuff. But they simply just go like this, like a, a normal pipe does. Um, but the controls for them, and you know, uh, controlling them and connecting them and stuff like that works a little differently. Wow, these are... I didn't, never knew these were so hard to break. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a good thing, right? Uh, should prevent any creeper damage and stuff like that, right? All right, so I do need to make a wrench, which I know I need um, a stone gear with three pieces of iron, just like that. I could make an omni tool for this, but um, lack of diamonds would be kind of inhibiting that because yeah, I don't have any diamonds at this point. All right, how are we doing over here? Oh, we got. 30 so far. Man, this is going slow. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and time warp this and catch back up when all this cooking is finished. Okay, we should have everything. Uh, I've got the, the tank walls, the valves, and the gauges that I need, the, the glass pieces. And we've got 64 of the liquid ducts. So that should be plenty for, to get us where we need to go. And I've made a ladder down here. This is going to be probably going to incorporate this into a more formal entrance to get down here. But for the moment, it's definitely easier. And this is the far corner of the building, the far corner of the room, so it's fine here. Um, the lava I have marked, there's two pools of it down here. And I do have... Yeah, right over here there's a ladder I already have set up to get down there. But I think because of the size of this room, I think I want to go and consider the amount of space I have. Uh, oh, hello creeper. Goodbye, Creeper. All right. Suppose we might as well just go right over on this wall over here. Um, yeah, we'll end up filling this this wall in as time goes by. So for now, I want to do. I figured a five by five. Which is going to hold an awful lot of lava, but I do hope that as time goes by, we'll certainly be able to keep this filled. 
because I have some ideas for using this as a solid production. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's what we want. Three, there's four and five. Okay, it's looking good. And fill in the corners. Like this. And All right. Now we can start fin filling in the rest of it. Let's see what we want to do. Put two in the front. One on the side there. All right. Man, I do hope I have enough pieces. I, every time I start putting these together, I start feeling like I don't have enough pieces for them. Of course, that would be because normally I don't have enough pieces for them, but. Hopefully my math was right, and it does look pretty good at this point. And there we go. All right, we have a tank that will hold 2,400 buckets of lava. That's a pretty thing, especially when it gets full. It's going to be really pretty. All right. So now we're going to head down and start hooking these pipes up. There are so many caves around here, so many mobs around here. Oh, I forgot the pump we need. All right, I'm going to go make a pump and then we'll be right back. Okay, we've got the pump, so we're ready to get this hooked up. Gonna try to come in here just a little ways. Um, not sure total how much room I have in here, how deep it's gonna be, so want to try to get it in a, there a little distance. Yeah, we'll try right there. I'm sure I'll have to move it later. I normally do. So, no big deal there. Alright. So, at this point, it's just a standard pump. Redstone engines. Now we're going to hook up the liquid ducts. Alright, you can see it's starting to fill up already. Now you can see here, this is the neat one of the neat things about the liquid ducts, is if one of them already has a liquid in it, it won't automatically connect. Uh, you have to use a wrench to connect them. So in doing that, you can have two dissimilar liquids flowing right next to each other. As long as you put liquid in one of the pipes first, you know, uh, before you run the other pipe next to it, it's a piece of cake. There may be ways of separating the pipes afterwards. I'm not sure about that. Um, you know, I haven't. I've just played with, around with this stuff in creative. I haven't used it in a, shall we say, live environment yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's a live environment. My Minecraft is real. What am I thinking? It doesn't get any more real than this, does it, man? All right. So we're going to run this. Is 
How's that line up? Oh, that lines up nice and straight. Look at that. All right. We just connect that one right there. All right, there's that. Now I need to use my wrench to connect the two pieces down below here a little ways. And it should just be a matter of right clicking no? Why does this not work? What's going on here? Okay, it was because I was holding shift down while I was standing on the ladder. There we go. Now it's going. All right, let's see if it's going in the tank. And there we go. We have lava filling in the tank already. All right, so that's the first step of this project. The next step of this project is going to be getting the power system going and the engines. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use mag magmatic engines. This is, again, something I haven't used in live environment yet. Um, but these are really, really neat engines. Um, as you can see, they're very cheap to build. They run on lava, um, and once they um, they don't blow up, they don't overheat. If they if they run out of like work to do while they've got lava in them, they will kind of seize up, overheat and seize up. You smack them with a wrench, and they'll start going again. And they output, um, I believe it's four Minecraft jewels per tick. So pretty good output on them. So we're going to let this flow and work on filling up. And we're going to go up and start building some of these magmatic engines. And it's dark. And I know there's plenty of mobs up there. So again we're gonna cut here I'm going to we're gonna wait out the night I'm gonna let this do its thing work on getting some engines built and start looking at moving some machines down in here start uh, filling this place in even before I finish doing the walls and stuff like that but because we really need to get things moved down here and start going so alright I will be back shortly okay I brought some of the machines down and I got the I got three magmatic engines made so we'll be able to start using those and I figure I'm gonna set them up for right now at least right in the center here uh, not trying to get too fancy with anything just uh, get everything hooked up and running and let's see let's run this down like this <clears throat> okay so we're going to go ahead and we're going to have the engines on there facing this way. So we're going to put the conductive wood conductive pipes here. Oh, I only have two of those. And I need another one. All right, well, that's a start. So we're going to put these here. And then we'll have the gold conductive pipes. Nope. Not that one. The gold conductive pipes on this end. Alright, now I need to just clarify one thing. I had said that these engines won't blow up. Um, they, they automatically throttle themselves back and stuff like that, which is true. But the engines won't blow up, but these pipes will. Um, so you do have to be careful with these uh, normal conductive pipes. Um, wait, I had wood. Yeah, there we go. 
I have wooden pipes on me. I just need to get a piece of redstone on it. There we go. There's the wood conductive pipe I need. All right. Um, the conductive pipes will blow up. If they build up too much energy in them, that has nowhere to go, uh, they will pop. So you do have to be careful of that. So there is a way that we are going to remedy that in the next episode. So definitely tune in to see what we're doing there. Um, that's going to be a crazy one. I can tell you that now because there's some definitely more stuff that needs to get built. Um, going to definitely be introducing some a couple new machines, a couple new processes of you know building things. So it's gonna be something totally new, um, something that I've never done before. And you know, like the rest of this, it's kind of a a brand new thing for me. So I'm really enjoying it. All right, I can turn these off for now because obviously there's nothing for it to run. But all right, so you see this pipe is connected, but it's not doing anything. It's not filling up. That's because the way it connects, um, that's because it needs a redstone signal over here. And I don't, you know, give me one of these. We need, now you saw with the pipe coming into the tank, that we didn't need any levers or you know anything connected to worry about anything um, because the pump automatically puts pushes the lava out so you didn't have to worry about anything with that but now we need to make sure that these are set to flow the right way no. it's got to flow outward there we go See how that forms like a clear arrow on it? That tells you that it's going to flow that direction. It's going to flow outwards. And these are on by default flow inwards. So now if we look at these, yep, you can see they already started because it doesn't have a switch to shut it off. So I need to get this one shut off for well, we don't definitely don't want it wasting any fluid, any lava or anything, because you know we don't need it running if there's nothing hooked up to it. So let's go ahead and shut that off. There we go. Yeah, you can see how there's already power sitting sitting in these pipes, in these conductive pipes. They would explode if they weren't connected to anything else. And you can see these have a heat rating in them, and they heat up to a maximum of like. 1200 1300 degrees something like that and then they stay there and they'll be at maximum output at that time so now we can look at um, laying out some of these other machines and what else we're going to need to get things working I am going to have to get another lever we know that already And I'm not sure how I'm going to want these machines because I know even though we can run directly from the uh, where's my pulver directly from the pulverizer into the um, powered furnace that works, but you're not necessarily always going to want to run everything. So I'm going to have to think about where I want to put all that stuff. But all these other machines can just get plopped down right here for now. Oh, that's the smelter. That's the pulverizer. Let's go ahead and switch the order of these two anyway, because at least I'll have the option to put to go from the pulverizer directly into the furnace. There we go. All right, so I could power these up because these unit these items will hold onto a base charge for a while, but at this point I don't need to fire them up, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, 
uh, getting a nice collection of lava started already, which is a good thing. And we got some machines down here. I've got my bed down here. So now I don't have to go back outside to sleep in the middle of the night. A little bit safer. And let's just take a quick look how we're doing with this lava. Don't see any flowing up, so that might mean I'm actually starting to run out already. Let's see what we got. No, nope. we still got quite a bit down here. Um, it definitely is running low. You can see that. So we'll keep an eye on it and see what it does. Um, there is another lava pool that I have marked uh, right over there a little ways. So as soon as this one's done, we'll just go over and tap into that other one and move that upstairs as well. And then after that, there are some other options for getting more lava, even if I don't have any lava pools over here. So and that's something else we're going to look into. So at this point, we're going to call it an episode. And next time we come back, like I said, we're going to have a new set of working new way of working with power and you know new and different ways uh, different machines to play with and it's going to be exciting i'm really really looking forward to it and until then i'm pc wizard and thank you for watching